Well, one of the teams to watch every spring is Defiance Baseball. Bulldogs were supposed to take on Whitmer today, but due to the rain, that contest is now rescheduled for May 2nd. The 23-time WBL champs are 3-0 on the young season, including a come-from-behind win on Tyler Weaver's walk-off two-run single in last Monday's opener versus Toledo Central Catholic. I felt great. I just went up there confident, looking to hit the ball hard, make something happen. A lot of momentum, I'd say, after that win. We need to keep pitching. And then uh, our defensive end, just better infield, make less errors. Coach Held is excited about this year's roster, which boasts some good arms. It kind of always starts with pitching, and uh, Michael Hendricks, he's a Miami of Ohio sign, and, and uh, you know he's going to be handed the ball a lot for us. Shea Smitty, who's already committed to Louisville, uh, is a junior. So uh, uh, it starts with those two guys on the mound. We think we have some depth. We're a little banged up. A few guys are on the shelf right now. We're hoping to get them back in the next two weeks, and then uh, uh, you know, we have six, seven Letterman back, uh, predominantly seniors. Having a core group of seniors is great for team camaraderie. Yeah, I'd say this is probably one of the closest teams I've been a part of. I've been playing with most of these guys ever since I was seven and eight, and it's the vibe with the team is just unreal. It's a great feeling. I think our chemistry is really good. I think we're going to be a pretty good team this year. You know, bottom line is, like every coach, I guess it's cliche, you want to get better each day, and, you know, expectations are always to compete for the WBL. It's a great league and everything, and, uh, no exception in baseball. Uh, and then, you know, get prepared for tournament, try to make a tournament run. Defiance tied for second last year in the WBL and saw its 72-game league winning streak come to an end. The Bulldogs hope to get back on top in the Western Buckeye League this year. The streak was very special for all our alumni and for all the guys involved and even the guys that weren't involved. And, you, you know, there's going to be a day, well, even to this day, I guess, where we look at it and we're just shocked how you could be able to do that in such a good league. And, uh, we got a lot of breaks that went our way. And obviously this year and even in the past years, it's, it's just one game at a time. Oh, I love playing this league. It's, it's a really tough league to play in. A lot of good competition, and uh, you see a lot of uh, D1 pitchers come out of this league, and it's great to face them. With three wins under their belt, Coach Held and company want to make sure they improve day-to-day -day in all facets of the game so they're playing their best ball come tournament time. You know, obviously you have to get consistent pitching. We've been pretty fortunate there. Defense and pitching win win games and win championships. Um, but you always want to get better with the bat too. And, and uh, the bats have changed the last couple of years, so small ball is, is really taking off and, and coming back like it was a few years ago. And I think the teams that can put the ball in play and, and play good defense and get good pitching got the best chance to win. In defiance, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.